let's calculate stocking rate or carrying capacity for each one of these pastures. We had 3,000 pounds per acre was the total annual forage production of this pasture. We said we were going to put 70% of that in the belly of our grazing animals. Let's do the math. 3,000 pounds times the 70% or 0.7 gives us 2,100 pounds per acre in the belly of a cow. 2,100 pounds ingested by the livestock. Remember an AUM is 780 pounds of air dried forage. So how many AUMs per acre are we, are we grazing? Well, we take our 2,100 pounds divided by the 780, that's the number of pounds of air dried forage in one AUM, and that gives us 2.69 AUMs per acre. 2.69 AUMs per acre. We had 100 acres. What's our total AUMs in this pasture? 2.69 times 100? 100 gives us 269 AUMs from this pasture. That's our total annual production from that pasture. All right, so this larger, less productive pasture, we said was 1,000 pounds per acre at a 30% harvest efficiency. Means we're gonna put 300 pounds in the belly of our grazing animals. From each acre. An AUM is 780 pounds, so 300 divided by 780 gives me 0.38 AUMs per acre. I've got 1,000 acres of it. Move the decimal place three points. One, two, three. It's going to give me 380 total AUMs from this pasture. Let's do the last one. 5,000 acres. We said we're going to use a 20% harvest efficiency. That means I'm going to put 100 pounds per acre in the belly of my grazing animals. Divide it by the number of pounds in an AUM, which is 780. Gives me 0 0.1 three AUMs per acre. At 0.13 AUMs per acre and 5,000 acres, that gives us 650 AUMs from this 5,000 acre pasture. Now we've just calculated forage supply. This pasture produces 650 AUMs. This pasture produces 380 AUMs, and this pasture produces 269 AUMs. That's our forage supply for the whole growing season, or all 12 months of the year. Now we need to overlay demand on that. How many cow-calf pairs could this run? For how long? What about yearlings? What if we had a combination of some horses, some yearlings, and some pairs? How would we calculate the demand on that, and how long it might run those animals? In order to do that, we need to bring in the demand side of the AUMs. 